Hello YouTube, so today we are in Asuncion, Paraguay, and I decided it was time that I came out as a trans, trans woman. And what that means is that I was born a male, that as a gay person, obviously had a lot of things that I like, that women like. So I identify as a woman who identifies as a man. That's why I am a trans, trans woman. And I hope all of you guys will support me in this very difficult time and struggle. Uh, as you guys probably know, be because of my trans, trans identity, I am incredibly oppressed by society because not only do I know what it's like to be a woman, because I'm a trans woman, but also to be a woman who doesn't feel like a woman because I feel like a man. And that is by far the most difficult oppression you could possibly go through in this day and age. I'm so glad to get that off of my chest. <laughs> all right, so all jokes aside, and actually, I was thinking about this the other day. I was kind of like, you know, what would what's going to be the next step in the oppression Olympics? And I was, you know, because I've been kind of lollygagging and falling behind in the whole oppression olympics because stupid me doesn't see myself as a victim so i was thinking what could possibly put me now to the pinnacle of the most oppressed person ever so i figured that would have to be being double trans you know because what what could possibly be more difficult than being a man who identifies as a woman that identifies as a man that is just beyond oppression right there. <laughs> um, all right, so I know a lot of you guys are kind of tired of me talking about, like, or maybe, I don't know, maybe you guys don't because you agree, but I talk about the trans issue a lot. I, I speak about, you know, the whole, the neo-pronoun stuff a lot. And, you know, my friend Jess, when I was in Mexico with her, she was asking me about why I'm so obsessed with this topic my friend Enrica asked me why I was so obsessed with this topic and in turn they were like Jess was kind of like how do you feel about the fact that they replaced or they put a lot of um people of color and I guess gay people in the new Lord of the Rings series and I kind of was like I don't really have a very strong opinion on that I'm not saying I don't have any opinion on that but I don't have a very strong opinion on it uh and then Enrica was also asking me, like, why do you have why do you have such strong feelings about the whole trans issue? Um, how do you feel about like the BLM movement or something like that? Because you don't really talk about that. And I was like, well, that's another topic I don't have that strong of an opinion on. Maybe a little bit more now because I watched the documentary that Candace Owens brought out, and more so in how the BLM movement also is connected to the trans movement for me was very shocking and something I didn't know. But in the long story, long story short is the reason I think I'm so frustrated and vocal about the trans topic and the neo pronoun topic is because like this is something that is being harnessed to the LGBT, you know, <laughs> community, you know, and I think as 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 you guys know, like, for those of you guys who follow my channel, you know that I started my channel talking predominantly about mostly actually gay, the gay community, not even so much about lesbians, but like LGB issues in general, and specifically like issues I saw within the gay community, so gay men. And I think I said harnessed instead of hitched, I should have said hitched. Uh, so I think like, the whole trans issue and now, you know, polyamory issue and all these other things are now being, and all these fetishes, they're all being hitched to the LGB. 
And I think that's why I feel so much stronger about this topic than I do necessarily things. I would imagine that black people have very strong opinions and feelings about BLM. Probably one of the reasons why Candace Owens um, is as vocal about it, especially not appreciating BLM as she is, because it's something that's hitched onto her community, right? And the trans issue is predominantly hitched onto the gay community, and that's why I feel as passionately as I do about it. Because I'm like, this this does not speak for me, this has nothing to do with me, and I find the whole thing has become completely ridiculous, right? So, yeah, that's really all I wanted to say to that, in case any of you guys were wondering why I keep making video after video about about this topic. Um, let me know how you guys are doing. Have any of you guys been in Paraguay? Uh, not a crazy amount to do here, but, you know, it's, it's okay. <laughs> all right, take care, you guys. Bye.